There are times when swinging above your pay grade works out, and there are times when it doesn't. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at times when females challenged males in martial arts and, well, it didn't work out for them. Of course, there are times where it does work out for them, but that's an entirely different video that we'll have in the works. For now, we're going to pander to the equal rights, equal fights crowd and show this collection of clips that we found. Here are times when men humble women in fighting. Okay, so we're just going to dive right into some chaos. Allegedly, this is a female in the army, and she said that she could outbox any Marine there. I don't know how the branches of the military work or why they're all hanging out together or why there's a boxing ring there, so feel free to explain what kind of situation this is if you know more about this than I do. The girl seen here in the red shirt was cocky for no reason. She's got no technique at all. We're getting closer to Halloween and I'm thinking about being this girl for the holiday. All you need to do is wear a punching bag. She really doesn't ever land a strike. Flailing doesn't count as a throw and it certainly doesn't work as a defense. Unfortunately, this girl bit off more than she could chew. The men here aren't exactly absolved of anything though. If I were put in a situation to box anyone of any gender or sex and they're clearly way worse than me, I'm not going to be so ego driven as to beat them up. You know, unless they really deserved it. Like if they went through an entire YouTube video that they enjoyed and didn't leave a like on it. Hint, hint. Kidding, we're not going to box any of you. But you know, feel free to drop that like anyway. Also, thank you to Araco TV for that clip. Alright, okay. There's no subtle way to go about this one. This is a freak show. An old man taking on a girl twice his size in an MMA fight. And by MMA fight... I mean MMA rules during a fight. There's not an ounce of true martial arts on display here. A wise man named Carl Pilkington said something along the lines of, when you go to a museum, you rush toward the weird stuff. That rings true at times in combat sports. For example, this is one of the worst fights I've ever seen, but it's weird enough that I'm not gonna not watch it. The girl is throwing some deep kicks that look like they almost have enough power to knock over a leaning broom. The guy has the defensive capabilities of a professional fighter if, instead of doing martial arts, they drank a tall PBR. He looks like a drunk guy, is what I'm getting at. On top of this weird bout, some random guy kept jumping in and trying to separate the fighters. Overall, I'd give this fight an F in terms of skill, but maybe a C plus in terms of interest. Katerina Kavaleva is, you know, tall. She's an astounding 6'4", which is a bit taller than me. A guy who stands at six feet tall and negative one inch. Marab Devalishvili is 5'6 and an incredible fighter. This guy fights in the UFC and is arguably the next in line to fight Sugar Sean O'Malley for the Bantamweight title. Sorry, Cheeto. Anyways, yeah, she just picked up a future title contender and spun him around like a child. Of course, Marab is a good sport and let it happen. He then took her down with a single leg that took about 10% of his effort. Would you have let her pick you up like that? Not gonna lie, I would've. Well, this one was actually really close. In this mixed, mixed martial arts fight, we have a girl who has some really solid takedown skills taking on a pretty well-rounded guy. The girl is able to secure a few really good takedowns early on. She doesn't quite have the grappling savvy to do anything with them though. The guy was able to get a weird sweep from the bottom and stand back up. Once returned to a kickboxing match, the girl didn't have a lot to offer. She could strike well and moved her head all right, but her cardio was depleting very quickly. The guy began landing some big shots, couple his pace with accuracy, and it was just a matter of time before his opposite gendered adversary went down. What do you think? Was this match a little too close? Or do you think the girl was very skilled and belonged in there? Sound off below. Combat Jiu Jitsu is neat. Once at least one grappler is on the ground, open-handed strikes are allowed. It's like that new power slap sport if there was skill involved. But yeah, this girl was on the bottom, and the guy on top took full advantage of this rule. In jiu-jitsu, there are no strikes. So, this must have felt a bit weird for both of them 
if this was just their first combat jujitsu match. The girl just can't control this guy's posture, and he's slapping her face like it's a tom drum, and he's trying to nail the fill from in the air tonight. I've also noticed that it seems like he's throwing actual punches to the body. This is not in the combat jujitsu rules. However, the rep isn't saying anything, so it must be a green lit thing. What the girl needed to do was break this guy's posture, either by getting a grip on the collar or rocking her legs forward and then grabbing the back of his head. That would have both stopped the strikes and let her work from guard. Go ahead, put that advice in your notes before you enter some weird army combat jujitsu match. Here is a confusing one. So this girl, Lucia Riker, is a very good kickboxer and her opponent is a male Muay Thai fighter. Lucia kept getting her kicks caught and she'd be tripped for this time and time again. Her male adversary was a bit sloppy too, but he was making things work in his favor. Lucia decided to put the pressure on and force her opponent into a corner. This was a bad move. She got too aggressive and forgot who had the power advantage in this particular bout. She got sloppy and got caught. It happens. After a clean three-piece lands from the guy, Lucia hits the deck, and that was all she wrote. Not Lucia. We're sure she would have written a different ending. This might be the lightest dose of humble pie served in the video, but maybe it's the coldest as well. This guy is giving a seminar in head movement. If this girl's opponent was the air, then she'd have 100% striking accuracy. Of course, it's much easier to focus on defensive movement when one is not also thinking of attacking back, but this is still pretty sick. Yeah, the girl is lacking in technique, but this dude was moving clean regardless. I'm sure I would have landed the same amount of strikes as this girl did. What do you think? Would you have been able to land on this guy? If not, drop a like. If so, drop a like anyway. Feel free to subscribe while you're at it. If not for us, do it for yourself. That's the best way to support the channel. But yeah, you should do it for us anyway. Two girls, one guy? Where have I read that title before? Anyway, these two girls are trying to take on one guy. Now, don't get it twisted. A female blue belt would dog walk any untrained guy in the world that's within a reasonable weight advantage or disadvantage. I don't want to flex, but through this poor quality of footage, I think that I can make out that the male here is UFC fighter Grant Dawson, and one of the girls is Laura Sanko. Sanko is a very good jiu-jitsu practitioner, and unless it's Bobby Green, it would take about two of anyone to beat Grant Dawson. He's able to secure an armbar on one of the girls, sweeps the other, and puts her in an armbar just seconds later. 10 out of 10 performance from this guy who either is or is similar to Grant Dawson. Here's more footage of a mixed jiu-jitsu match at some army or marine event. I'm not entirely sure why they do this so much, but next time they do, Will someone tell them to have better filmers? This video also has weird cuts to it, but from what my educated eyes can gather, it seems that the guy slams the living hell out of this girl with little technique. He gets to the mount position with little technique, he isolates an arm and then attacks it, in which he also maneuvered with little technique. Now, I don't mean to be harsh, but guys typically have the physical advantage in terms of muscle. If you see someone using more muscle than they have technique, it's either because they suck at jiu-jitsu, they're a jerk, or all of the above. This girl is actually really good. She flew a bit too close to the sun when she got cocky after checking a kick. She was pretty sound defensively and her attacks were sharp. And then, tragedy struck. She was kicked in the liver. For those of you who've never trained, getting kicked in the liver may be the worst pain in fighting. Getting hit in the liver sucks in general, but a kick? is just so much pain so fast. Luckily, she handled this like a champ and flipped everyone off once she had the ability to move her limbs again. Have you ever been kicked in the liver? If so, explain your experience down below and let the fortunate souls who've never endured that pain to know what they're missing. The guy here, named Andre, is holding back on power, but is flowing in regard to technique. That's a great way to spar someone smaller. Earlier in the match, which you can catch on 5 Amaru 1 YouTube page, we can see Andre investing in the body. Light hooks and kicks to the liver, but hitting them frequently has the girl Lena reacting to any and all body shots at this point in the spar. Andre is hitting lightly, but you can see Lena drop her arms anytime her body is hit. 
almost like she's trying her best to keep a poker face of body language, but she just can't. Andre is able to catch a kick and put her down with it, and that's about the end of the spar. Nothing will humble you quite like liver shots. I'll complain about how much those shots hurt all day long. You know what else hurts? When you watch the video, but don't leave a comment or a like. That hits us right in the only thing that hurts more than the liver, the soul. Kidding. There are a few things that hurt more than the liver. Regardless, we appreciate the support, so if you're enjoying the video, leave us a like. Lena is back at it here, sparring a guy named Ben. Credit to the 5 Amura 1 YouTube page once again. Sometimes less is more in fighting. Ben is giving no effort, which in turn, like a mind game, has Lena trying a bit too much and falling into rookie mistakes. This looks like it's more of a playful spar on Lena's end as well, so we can't really say she's getting humbled here. Rather, she's just being a good teammate. But you know, it's good content regardless, so I'm going to plug the Lena boxing clips in. We could spend a minute talking about Kennedy Blade's credentials, and then another hour talking about John Jones' credentials. So, it all started when, kidding, let's talk about the action we see here in front of us. John Jones may not have won the Olympic trials, but he's a really good athlete and arguably the greatest fighter of all time, most would agree. I don't know all the names of wrestling moves and all that jazz, but I do know high-level grappling when I see it. Credentials aside, you can see that these two really know what they're doing. In addition to that, this is how you train with someone lighter than you. Don't use strength, use technique. Nobody gets better at jiu-jitsu by using muscle. Go deadlift or something, I don't know. Just don't prove how much you lift on the mats. This was playful and light, but Jones had to show off a little bit. He did some weird twisty stuff and made it so that Kennedy couldn't move and voila, Jones got the pin. A quick shout out to the page Discover the Fight for posting this footage. We just can't get away from this military girl versus guy stuff. Thank you to the military for essentially sponsoring this video. You know, with content, they're not paying us. This video starts with the girl on the top and sliding into mount. She's looking for an Ezekiel choke it seems, but nothing doing here. The man was able to sweep and get on top at some point. It was there that he synced in a rear naked choke. If you want to watch this match in its entirety, don't. It's frustrating and full of errors. Sorry, I'm hypercritical with these videos today, but wow. It's like being in the passenger seat and trying to press on the imaginary brakes in front of you when the driver sucks at driving. Allegedly, this is some out-of-pocket television show called Outside Watch. I'm not sure what's happening here, but it looks too aggressive to be productive. Some people got a bunch of guys and girls into a dilapidated building with some high-quality cameras and said, hey, fight. The content looks good and the setting is pretty sick, I'll give them that. I'm more questioning the ethics behind this video. But hey, these dudes are really putting a whipping on these girls here. Would you watch this show? Back to the military content. We didn't intend for this video to be so patriotic, but hey, it's hard to find intergender fighting clips elsewhere. This is a jiu-jitsu match, and a one-sided one at that. The girl had a failed takedown attack, and she got stuck in what we in the industry call the turtle position. This is not advantageous for her at all. The man seems to be fishing for grips, and he eventually puts the girl in a choke, which looks to have put her unconscious. I'm all for equality, but some of these matches are just not put together well at all. If you're scared of sloppy punches, this is your warning to look away. I'm also scared of sloppy striking, but it's spooky season, and I'm trying to be immersed in it. This man versus woman fight is in the third round, so we'll cut them some slack. But the way they hold their hands and pop their punches shows that this is pretty new for both of them. We do respect the hustle though. It takes a lot of guys to compete and more guts to swing it out in the third and final round of a bout. The man just has a little bit better of a jab and a little more gas in the tank. It was that that won him the fight by split decision. Thanks to New Line Cage Fighting's YouTube account for posting this footage. Okay, so this is a good clip to end things on. This is a great match between a male and female boxer. Both of them are pretty skilled, more skilled than the average person. The man is utilizing his movement and he's pulling his punches. 
The female lands big and gets a little too into it. Of course, this looks like a smoker fight event and we shouldn't be going for knockouts. But it's hard to control yourself when you have spectators going wild and you're in the moment. Either way, the guy keeps his composure and slips most of the shots coming his way. His defense is really smooth. You can tell he's been training for a bit. Shout out to 60K TV for this footage. Check out their page for more high quality content like this. That does it for our video. How'd you like the content? Let us know down below. Be sure to like the video and share it. It really helps out the channel. What do you want to see next? Let us know. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss a future upload. We'll catch you next time.